good morning and welcome to the sun is shining off and on today Winnipeg yeah we had a nice sunrise this morning uh, it was not spectacular but nice and what I'm gonna do is instead of showing it to you now I'm just gonna run it at the end of today's video run it. that's about three minutes actually I haven't seen the completion of it yet the, my computer is uh, processing it right now into uh, I was gonna say slow motion but it would actually be time-lapse uh, anyway we came back to the model table last night yes we did and we got the painting 99% done there's just a little bit of touch-ups that I've got to do now um, I'm gonna zoom in here in a moment I want to talk about something uh, maybe after the rollback I'll do my talking but uh, I got a comment from uh, Jason when I was saying that that this NATO black will contrast nicely with the flat black that I'm going to be painting the the uh, the ring around the top and I was thinking yeah that's that's right I could do that but you know what Jason I'm just going to leave it the way it is I'm, I'm going to just have it th this sort of off black uh, on this ring that goes around the top um, yeah well you know what let's let's roll back and see how it is we got to where we are and uh, and then we'll continue on and I'll put the macro lens on and we'll come in and we'll actually we'll, we'll, we'll take it we'll put this on the rotator and we'll spin it around I'll put the macro lens on we'll get in nice and reasonably close uh, at least so that the whole thing will will fill the frame um, okay, enough talk. Let's roll back. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Now, I'm going to try and remember to keep it over top of this that we've already got a mess going on there. And I think it should basically stay in focus here. And I think we're going to just start off with this. So I don't, I don't want to be getting the, the uh, NATO black on this gray uh, af after I've got the gray paint. So I'm going to do the black first. And uh, I may I may not be doing this right, but Now I realize that I'm holding this so that I can see it well and unfortunately I'm often turning it away from the lens which is bad for you. Okay, now do I have any uh, I'm just sort of looking down at an angle like this right now to see if there's any <clears throat> bare plastic, you might say, glinting, and I'm not seeing anything. Okay, now I think we'll just use a, a larger brush here now to 
probably this one here is I just want to sort of bathe the inside and and this this brush might be a little bit on the a little on the heavy side now unfortunately I can't hold it for you and for me at the same time so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna have to hold it away from you You can see here I'm getting it. This is where the <clears throat> airbrush might have worked a little better. thinking here that it could be that the the smaller brush might have done a better job in here Okay, I think we'll <clears throat> we'll let that dry now, and then I'm not seeing any uh, I'm not seeing any bare plastic in there. You, are you seeing any bare plastic in there? Uh, oh yeah, there's a little spot there. Okay, I, th I think I got it. Um, oh, there's another spot. Um, okay, I, I think I got it. <laughs> Didn't I just say that? All right, let's, uh, let's uh, push stop here and uh, uh, recompose and we can do the black again later. Now, the, the problem is if I, if, I do the, if I do the gray now and don't put the second coat of black on first, um, Noticing right underneath here, it doesn't look too good. Um, okay, let's uh, let's just push stop here, and I'll decide what to do. But I I, I think I did pretty good for <clears throat> excuse me for the first code. Okay, the first coat is done. 
and it's still wet in places. And you can see where I got a little bit of gray on our black, but that's okay. Everything's getting a second coat. I'm sure we can uh, fix that up. And our spider, first coat. And where the tweezers are hanging on to it there, I guess I'll have to touch that up afterwards. Okay, now while I am waiting for this paint to cure here before I put on the second coat this evening, and I do think that there is sort of curing properties as well as drying properties with this latex paint, um, and yet maybe not because it does re rehydrate in if you uh, you know soak it in water, so maybe there isn't any curing properties. Um, however, a few minutes ago I was watching one of the viewers who calls his channel Military Modeler Paul. And and in his latest video, he's, uh, among other things, he's also doing the, uh, the Nelson, which is the sister ship to this. But where are we going with this? Well, we actually are going somewhere. He is going to take the pipes that are coming up out of his funnel, and uh, he's got the same thing I've got here, only he's going to drill out the center here of the pipe. So it, it, it looks like it's hollow all the way along. Now I was thinking, you know, I think maybe I'll do that. But what I'm afraid could happen is that as the bit is turning, that is a terrible bit. No wonder so many of these bits aren't working. I should throw that out. Anyway, uh, it, it could catch and twist the pipe off down at the bottom. Uh, you know, so I, I don't think I'm going to, but it would have been a very good idea to have drilled these out before. You know, uh, I'll bet you that I could have even got these in my little lathe downstairs and, uh, you know, and, and, and drilled them out fairly precisely. Um, that would have been kind of fun. Well, maybe on the next one. <laughs> Okay, a few moments ago I just finished giving everything its second coat, including the spider. And uh, I'm noticing though on the inside of the vent there on one of the pipes, I can see where it kind of looks uh, like maybe it could stand another little spot of the uh, NATO black. Uh, but uh, otherwise it, it looks pretty good. It's, it's blotchy, but then there's a lot of wet spots on it. Uh, we'll put it on the rotator tomorrow morning and have a really good look. Uh, and then, of course, where the tweezers are clamped onto the spider here, uh, the photo etch is going to be glinting there, so we've got to do something about that. Whoops. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it, though, for tonight. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be going at this anymore, so uh, we'll, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, it is morning. Well, as you can see, I have opted not to use my macro lens. Uh, I think my 24-200 should be just about right, and it should zoom in, and we should be able to see this fairly well. Um, there is something I want to show you looking down in here, though, in a moment, and we will stick the macro lens on for that. Anyway, let's uh, let's just move in here, and I'll try and slowly rotate this thing around so that it's not too uh, moving too fast.
Oops, I bumped my tweezers. Okay, I'm uh, fairly happy with the way everything came out there. And once again, I, I, I want to make it perfectly clear. Uh, the airbrush would have done a better job. No question about it. In the description to my videos, I end up by saying something to the effect of, please feel free to uh, learn from my mistakes or something to that effect. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of the way I feel. Uh, you'll notice on the top of these pipes here, not only did I not drill the hole, as um, model maker Paul does, is going to, but I, I didn't even sand off the flashing. Now that was a mistake. That was, uh, you know, carelessness on my part, plus the fact, uh, um, you know, it's not like I'm not taking this build seriously. Uh, I, I just, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm not a gifted modeler, uh, and, uh, the, the the comment that one of the comments this morning made me think that the people are are sort of going by what I'm doing. For goodness sakes, don't don't do what I what I do. Do what I say, <laughs> and I'm saying take the time, and 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 sand off the 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 excess uh, flashing. Well, this this one's not too bad, uh, but only I'm just only lucky because I I just I just. Uh, I didn't do anything on the ends of them, so uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to mention that. Um, now, now, did I go and scratch this with with my screw here? Anyway, uh, I, I still like the idea of drilling holes in those to make them look like real vents. So that's that was a great idea, Paul. Um, okay, enough about that. probably got ourselves about a thousand calories going on here. I didn't work it out this time. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I'll probably care tomorrow morning when I step on the scale. Anyway, today is pizza day. Yes. gotta tell you that was good yeah now in tomorrow's episode we'll probably be putting our spider on the top and gluing it down and uh, I'm gonna wrap it up for today uh, stay tuned you might say for the sunrise I've already seen it it's not bad it's uh, not bad <laughs> okay Thanks for watching, everybody. All being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.